Oh, hello. Are we rolling? Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. So I apologize. I'm just having a little dinner here. I didn't realize it was time yet already for fabulous reading. I'll get right to it, shall I? Tonight's little book is a fabulous story. Little twist, little adaptation. You know, all I'm sure are very familiar with the story, the, uh, the Prince Frog. Tonight we are going to divulge and go bravely to the Princess Frog. I know you've been worried. But you know the story. Do you know the story? Do you? Well, well let me explain to you something here. Just sit with me, enjoy the story, it will be okay. It all started once upon a time, as they always do, in a land far away called Heshi. Heshi. There was a beautiful princess by the name of Victoria. Victoria was a fabulous, wonderful, kind-hearted woman. But alas, there was a jealous one. Very jealous of her. In every way that possibly could be jealous of. Mm -hmm. You know how bitches be. The name of the jealous one? <gasps> you might have heard it. They call Dark Hair. Dark Hair Oh, she was gorgeous. Princess Victoria was gorgeous. She had this dirty blonde hair that's blue in the wind. And oh, don't you love that? Just the smile and I guess really bright blue eyes. Oh, no wonder dark haired one was jealous of her. Some people can't just be like other people be happy and be living. Don't hate me because you ain't me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But hey, not everybody lives that way. Princess Victoria was a babe. This is horrible. So, dark hair cast a very um, deep spell on Victoria, Princess Victoria, and transformed her into a frog. A princess frog. Which only would the curse be broken upon love's true kiss. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of like Shrek, but not. But enough with me just reading it. Let's get to the story, shall we? La 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 la. What a gorgeous golden locket I have. I love this golden locket more than life itself. Self. It's just as gorgeous and pretty as me. What is my name, you ask? What is my name? I'm Princess MB. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. And I just love my locket. It is my most dearest, treasurest, most prized possession. My mother, darling, dearest, gave it to me just before she won the lottery. And then she kind of like took off on cruises and stuff. And I haven't seen her in a few years. So this lock is the only thing I have to remember her by. Keeps me dear and close. But that's okay. So. <laughs> nothing could possibly go wrong in this most beautiful, perfect of days. Where I'm just going to sit by this lovely wishing well. And play with my most prized possession, the golden locket. What could go wrong, right? Nothing, of course, because I'm perfect. <laughs> Love my locket. Oh, oh! oh no. Oh, 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 no.
no. I just dropped my locket down the wishing well. Oh my goodness, how am I ever going to explain myself? Oh, I know. I don't know, something else just crashed. If I just go incognito. I go into town. No one would recognize me and be like this. And I will go and I will find a merchant, a merchant man. And he will get me my golden locket back in. That's like one might say. I'm totally, totally screwed. What am I gonna do? Ugh! What are you? Well, hello there. My name is Princess Victoria. I see that you've lost your little locket down the wishing well. Frog? Victoria, well, I could, I could get that for you. <laughs> and you think you can get me my golden locket? Well, of course I can. I'm the world's best swimmer. I am a kick butt, well, <laughs> froggy paddler. Well, you could, that would be wonderful. Oh, wait. What's in it for you? What? I don't want anything in return. Just maybe to share your bed for tonight. My lily pad's really kicking my butt and my back is killing me. I'll be gone in the morning. Promise. What? Like, totally share my bed with you. Like, seriously? For just one night. I'm sick of lily pads. <sighs> the pose for my lock, it'll be worth it. Okay. It's a deal. Ta da! I told you I'd get you your golden locket. Here it is. Oh, my locket. Thank you so much. Ryan is... I what? <laughs> I never said I'd share my bed with you. Don't steal it. Don't croak. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll do it. <laughs> Swing it on the lawn, swing it by my mom, cause I ain't nobody home. Swing it to the left, swing it to the right. Think about face by the swing all night, yeah. He's just so sleep froggy. Fine, Victoria. Frog Victoria, please just go to sleep. You know, I can sense you're really unhappy. That people don't know the real you. I bet you're wonderful, Princess Envy. If I got to know you better, I bet we become bestest of friends. Can you believe me? Really? You see, I'm unhappy. Me so well. It's like I've known you all my life. No. At any rate, I think you look good. You're so sweet. I'm sorry I judged you before by your looks. You ought to kiss goodnight. Kiss goodnight? Sure. You might want to censor people here. There's gonna be some kissing. Mm-hmm. You 
have to excuse my hair. I have been the frog since the 80s, so my hair's kind of teased the shit out. But we'll get us to a hair salon right away, and uh, and you, you and I can uh, enjoy a cup of coffee or something over, uh, you know, each other. <laughs> You're babe. Step inside, walk this way, you and me, babe. Hey, hey! We could live happily ever after. Just two perfect little lesbians. And they lived happily ever after. See, that's what true love's all about. It doesn't matter if you're a princess frog, lesbian. Love is love. And true love's kiss always saves the day. So that's it for uh, now. Hope you had a great time. Hope you enjoyed the listening to the story as much as I did uh, uh, reading it to you guys. But uh, my dinner's gotten a little cold here, and I'm gonna get back to it. Mm. This is off. Mm. Happy sweet dreams. Just all I know. Until the next story.